Free software means software that respects the user's freedom. There are four essential freedoms that the user of software should always have. Freedom zero is the freedom to run the program however you wish. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code of the program and change it to make the program do what you wish. Freedom two is the freedom to distribute copies of the program to others when you wish. Now this includes republication of the program. And freedom three is the freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others when you wish. And this also includes publication if you if you that's how far you wish to go. If you have all four of these essential freedoms then the program is free software which means that the social system of the distribution of this program is an ethical system that respects the freedom and community of the users. If one of these freedoms is missing then the program is proprietary software meaning that it keeps the users divided and helpless and gives the developer power over the users. This is an injustice. Proprietary software should not exist and should not be used. If you want to have freedom, the only way you can have it while using computers is by rejecting proprietary software. And that's the aim of the free software movement. We want to replace proprietary software with its unjust social system with free software and its ethical social system. And so we develop free replacements for proprietary software and other free programs whenever we get an idea so that the world can live in freedom, the part that uses computers at least in that one area of life. Because winning and maintaining freedom in general is a much bigger, much broader and harder activity but this is one part of it.